Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about making a, a polar array. And this is something you would do if you were going to make a gear from scratch. All right, so what I have in the screen right now, okay, right here, is a, is a close-up of a gear tooth I designed. And it's a pretty simple tooth. Now, when we print this in polymumps, the, the sharp edges will be rounded because this is a fairly small structure. So we have a 2 micron gear tooth tip, which will probably round off nicely in the photolithography process. And then the base of the tooth is 6 microns across. Okay, so if I was going to make a gear train or, or a rack, I would go ahead and make a, uh, a 12 micron pitch. So that means you've got 12 mic or 6 microns here, and then the next tooth would be 6 microns further away. And that's pretty easy to do on a straight line. But how do you make a, a circular structure or polar array? So you create your, your individual structure that you want to array, and then you go to the MEMS Pro menu, and I have a video, a short video on how to find that MEMS Pro video or um, menu if that disappears from your screen. And then part of that is the Easy MEMS. So on Easy Mems, you see that we have this polar array option here. Okay, so you have to do a little math beforehand. So you've got to kind of figure out, well, where is the center of my um, array going to be? Okay, because it's a polar array, it's going to be a circle. So where's the center of the circle going to be? And so you have to understand what the radius of your structure is. Okay, so I did a little math <coughs> beforehand. And um, I determined I'd have a 12 micron pitch. Okay, so if I have a 12 micron pitch and I'm going to have 30 gear teeth, okay, that means 30 times 12 is 360 microns. Okay, that's the circumference of the circle. So there'll be 30 of these teeth in a 360 degree um, uh, circle. And it just so happens that it'll be 360 microns. The the circumference has to be. Of course, if you if you decide you want 15 gear teeth, okay, um, in your circle or in your gear, then you would have to go um, determine what that circumference is. So you'd have um, 15 times um, 15 teeth, and that'll give you a number. And you divide that by 2 pi, and that gives you the radius. So back to where we're at. So we're going to make 30 gear teeth. So that's 30. It's going to be 360, um, the circumference. If I take the circumference and divide by 2 pi, I get about 57.3 microns. Okay, so that's my radius. So I already know, and let me go ahead and cancel out of this real quick. I already know that the base of my tooth is at, and if you look at this, um, coordinate system up here. The base of the tooth is at 600 microns in X and 60 microns in Y. Okay, so I know my radius is going to be 57.3 microns. So we can usually when you have large things if you round off a little bit it won't change the pitch enough to, to make your gear not work right. Of course if you do a thousand revolutions it may not move as many teeth as you want because it's slightly bigger, slightly smaller than it should be. Okay, so that's my point. Um, so if I go 57.3 microns as my radius, where would the center be? Well, if this is uh, 600 comma 60 in xy coordinates, I'd have to, to um, subtract 57.3 microns from the y coordinate to find my center. Okay, so that would leave you with, um, let's see, uh, 2.7 as your Y coordinate. Now we can do this pretty easily. So if I go back, do my polar array, I'm going to make 30 gear teeth, right? So that's a pitch of 12, right? Six for the base of the tooth and another six for the space where the, the tooth would m mesh, right? The other tooth would mesh, okay? We've got 360 micron circumference divided by 2 pi gives me a radius of um, 57.3 microns. Okay, we're at 600 in X. We're not going to change that. And we're at um, a Y coordinate of um, 60 microns minus 57.3, leaving you with 2.7 microns. So 2.7 is a coordinate of the center. 
So we got 30 gear teeth, 360 degrees. We're going to make a full circle. You could make a half a gear, right? You might want to do that for some reason. And, um, it, and you know, the gap angle is going to be about 11.6 degrees, which is calculated. Okay? And you can do clockwise or counterclockwise. Um, you know, and you can do the, the orientation relative to the axis. So you could build things relative to the zero zero mark on the center and and then move things off away from that. Okay? So we'll just stick with this um, this layout here. So if I hit OK, you can see it builds out the gear. It's going off screen and then it'll come back around. So if we take a look by hitting Z and then the right mouse key, we can zoom out, Z, right mouse key, Z, right mouse key, you can see your circle there. Okay? And the center is, is pretty close to um, what we said. In fact, it's exactly what we said, which is at coordinate 600 comma um, uh, 2.7 microns. Okay, so now we've got our teeth. So we made a polar array. That's pretty cool. And that's all we'll talk about here. Um, to finish the, the gear, you would draw a circle, center it amongst the gear teeth. And once you have it centered and covered, then you can do a merge. And I might show that in another video. Thank you.